All right, guys, uh, just thought I'd share some stuff that I'm kind of playing with. Um, this is kind of a concept. Uh, as you can see, you've got the GH3 camera here and a wireless follow focus system. This is the one from Senna. Uh, it's called their All Recall Focus. And then I have a wireless HDMI transmitter here. This is actually the transmitter, and this is just a USB battery pack because it's powered off of 5 volts. And then you can see it's sending the video feed over here to the small HDAC7. Let's take a closer look over here. You see I have just the uh, receiver and it's being powered up by my Tekion battery pack, but actually it only takes five volts. So I can shrink this down a bit if I need to. Um, I just need to rewire it. But uh, for now you see it's just a receiver. There's no cables connected to GH3 and that's the image being displayed. And uh, here I'll show you if you back up here. I'm gonna turn the uh, focus on this lens here and you'll see in real time it's changing the uh, display. So the next thing I'm going to show you is this uh, wireless follow focus system. Um, ideally this kind of equipment could be used where you have an operator on a steady cam, and as he's moving around someone else can pull focus for him. So uh, let's take a look at the uh, wireless follow focus system. Now this is a dual channel system so it can do both focus and zoom. Uh, this is a prime lens so instead of using it for zoom I can actually use a second motor to adjust my aperture on the fly as well. So, uh, But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to set up the zoom right now. I'm sorry, set up the focus right now. Uh, so this is kind of how it mounts. They do have their own set of rails but I just kind of put it on my own system here. Um, this is what the wireless remote looks like. Again it's dual channel so you have this one here that's going to control your uh, zoom or again you can do your declicked aperture and then this is your focus here so we'll walk through the setup now this has an internal battery so this is all you really need if I turn this on you can see it's already powered and it's a uh, rechargeable and I can actually if I'm working in dim lighting I can hold this record button down turn this on and it gets an illuminated disc so that looks pretty cool so we'll shut this off for now um, you know every time I have powered this system on it's connected flawlessly. I've had no issues with uh, the connection dropping or anything. Um, I've done it probably a dozen times or so. So, so far it, I'm pretty happy with it. So here's the uh, wireless receiver here. I just have it mounted to a set of rails. Um, it comes with all the brackets you need to mount everything. So let's uh, turn this on. Again, this one has an internal battery as well, so it's rechargeable. Okay, so now that that's on, I'm gonna flip this guy on here. And uh, it's communicated, it's synced up. So here is my zoom or uh, my aperture. And then over here I have my uh, focus. So you'll see that turning this gear over here on the side. So we're gonna go through a setup because what you don't wanna do is have a wireless follow focus system that's kind of overdriving your focus gear. So it's real easy to calibrate this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise all the way. Then I'm going to turn my lens clockwise the opposite way. Now I'm going to mesh up my gears here. Now this thing is uh, spring loaded so actually it always has tension on the um, the lens gear so you can see it's kind of spring loaded so you want to make sure that the spring is giving it good tension then you're going to lock this down. Um, so now once that meshes up you go back here again this is turned all the way counterclockwise so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly turn this around until I feel like I'm at the end of my focus range with my lens and you can kind of see that right let's see right right there okay so I'm just gonna stop it right there that that will be my focus range so then all you have to do is hit one and three really quickly And that's it. Now, no matter how far back and forth I turn this, I'm not going to overdrive my lens. So really easy to calibrate, but uh, you have to do it for every different lens that you do. Every time you mount it, you have to kind of set your focus range, but um, that's typical about most follow wireless follow focus systems. All right, let's go take a look at the uh, AC7 here. All right, GH3 went to sleep.
All right. Okay, we're back online. All right, so what I'll do is I'll turn on focus peaking over here. And um, this is the wireless follow focus system. So you'll see I can get from one point to the next. So one cool thing is that you can actually lock, um, you can store focus positions. So let's say this focus position is one. I'm just going to hold this down. It's going to lock in place. Now I'm going to rack over to the other side. So now I'm just going to, I'll say that's three. And this is your replay speed. This is how fast it jumps from one focus point to the next. So let's speed this up all the way. You'll see how fast it can get back and forth. One. You see how accurate it is? Three. One, three, one, three. It nails it every time. Very accurate. So this replay speed here is the transition between one focus point to the next. So I'm going to slow this down. Actually, I'll slow it down all the way. And you can see when I hit one, it's gradually going to change that focus point here. So if you want to do a really smooth rack focus, you just adjust your speed here. So again, I'll kind of go in the middle. One, three. And then really fast. Then really slow. Nice and gradual. So that's kind of a quick look at a couple of things, wireless HDMI, uh, the wireless follow focus system here. Very cool. I love the uh, stored focus points because it's accurate. It's been nailing it every time. Um, I have no problems with the uh, wireless system dropping. It connects very quickly. The unit's very easy to calibrate and use. Um, and then, you know, the internal battery. I mean, this is really all you have to carry. Uh, so once I get this whole system built up, then I'll be able to pull focus wirelessly with, you know, whatever rig. More stuff on the blog. Check it out. Cheesycam.com.